All right, guys, we are just about to be on our way down to the shop. I have a surprise. Uh, I actually didn't even know I had this mod. I must have downloaded it when somebody sent me like a mod pack or something. Super excited to show you. Obviously, you can tell by the thumbnail and title what I'm about to uh, I'm about to show you. But we're actually in the F450, the, the Platinum Edition. And I didn't know here. It's pretty loud, but I didn't know that they had a flatbed on it. And then they, a rigid toolbox and a transfer tank as well. That car... Holy cow, why are these guys going so slow? We gotta make some moves. We got business to take care of. Today we're mowing, boys. Today we are mowing. Super exciting. I've been waiting for this moment my whole entire life. It's time to mow on FS19 with an actual... I mean, this isn't what I want for a mower, but just for the times, the time being in that this mod is out. It's actually been out for a while, too. Um, I'm not saying that I'm the first one to get it or anything, but look at this, boys. Hallelujah. Wait, why isn't it? Okay, there goes. Hallelujah. 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 There she is. Okay, enough singing. Oh my goodness, I got the white. I, I love the trailer, first off. Really nice trailer, but for some reason, they like need the lights on the floor or something. It almost like makes the makes the deer darker, but we got the 2032 utility tractor. You know, you see this a lot for plowing snow, or you, I mean, you see it for larger mowing spaces as well, but here she is let's get her out in the light so you can see her and we can run down i got the roll bar on here i just thought super important to keep it on uh it has i don't i wasn't able to customize really anything else besides the roll bar and the beacon uh there oh there was a front loader attachment as well and then you could put it on you could put on a weight but i that's not going to look good for mowing we're just going to use this for mowing bigger properties and then if you look at the deck let's go to uh, mowers Right here, it's a... Does it say how big it is? It does not. All right. Just a 2032R mower deck. And yeah, so let's go ahead and load it back up. We're going to be heading to our first location. We're going to be mowing hopefully two. If we, if we can't get to the second one, we won't if we don't have enough time. But we are going to be going to... Oh my goodness, I can't even... I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Tab around. Nope. There we go. Perfect. Let's go ahead and fold her up. Here, I gotta, I gotta shut off the engine. What am I doing? There we go. Okay, now we're in the truck. Let's see if we can. So we closed it. Lift crane arm. What is this? Oh. Oh, okay. So I, I can level this out. So I could raise it up. Obviously, don't want to do that. Let's make sure that it's level. This is going to be better uh, when we're driving. We'll have more stability. The weight will be distributed just a bit better. So can we fasten belts? No, there is no lock load, but I think it's going to stay in there just fine. Let's go ahead. I'm going to knock down the vehicle volume for us so we can actually get up close and personal. But really nice trailer. And um, this the, the trailer is made by Expendables Mining. I actually don't know who did the mower. If you do, let me know in the comments. But we're heading over to the logging site here. I'm going to have to get on the main road. It's on the other side of town. Again, guys, this is, I guess I, I didn't mention this, but this is Black Mountain, Montana map. Really good map. And let me know if you're excited for mowing. This is kind of, I would say this is a teaser for me and you guys as well. But I haven't, you know, I haven't done mowing in this, in the, in the game so far. Mowing on a, on a more of like a business or a residential side or level of it, like commercially. We've, been, we've just been doing it for the farm, but... It's exciting now that I have the 20... <laughs> I know that I have the 20... Uh, 32R. I, I didn't know I had it earlier, but... It, now that we have it, I'm going to do a few mowing episodes here until we actually get some zero turns. You know, some walk-behinds, some stand-ons. Stuff like that. So, we're going to be doing this... Uh, here we go. There are the sawmill here. Let me go ahead. Where, where's the best spot to unload? So, I'm just out of people's way. I think I'll just go up along these logs. I think they're closed for the day. Or maybe they're... I don't know. I don't know why nobody's here. I guess I hear the blades running in there. Let's go ahead and open up here. Oh my goodness. I love the lights. The lights look so good. And then I, I put a jet black on the trailer. I was I was going to go all white, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of that 452. It was a shot in the dark. I was debating whether or not the, uh, the flatbed was going to be a good choice and if it was going to look good or just go with, you know, obviously a regular bed. But I think it does. We have an antenna on there, a few other things for it. I think it looks pretty good. So first things first, we got to shut off my truck. That's pretty important. I'll just keep the trailer open. There's no reason to close it. Hopefully nobody takes my stuff. So 
something that's actually pretty cool about this i don't know let me let me know what you guys think about it but here let's go ahead let's zoom in here oh first person looks pretty good too there we go really nice i'm sure a lot of you guys have seen these before one thing that i think is kind of nice is the way that it actually uh puts the grass off on the side I, I would prefer honestly for the smaller mowers i guess you can use this on your farm but i would prefer that they didn't actually have like any grass displayed but because grass is being dis displayed if we ever want to pick it up and back it we absolutely can't oh my goodness first off okay this thing goes like way too fast too but we'll talk about error Oh, this is already mown. Hmm. This place is like half mowed. But I don't know why that is. But we can actually, we can pick this up pretty good. And if you go up and down, you're actually like making a pretty big uh, kind of grass bundle. I guess I, you know, just a swath. So we, if we ever want to pick it up, we can. I don't really know the best like commercial way to do it. I mean, you can do it on the farm, but I'm not going to bring in, you know, a big baler or a big loading wagon. You know, if they if there was a better, more realistic mod, then I'd probably end up doing that. But we are mowing, guys. It is this is exciting. Um, I know sometimes mowing does get boring, but I know you guys really enjoy it. You guys really enjoy mowing, especially when we get cool mods in here. Unfortunately, the 2032 isn't what I'm not mad. I'm not saying it's a bad mod or whatever, but it's not what I want for my mowing business. Obviously, we want a zero turn, preferably a John Deere zero turn. That would be the best. And so yeah we're still kind of waiting on that if anybody actually gets that mod let me know i would love to have it so what i'm thinking is we're going to knock out the the sawmill lawn here this on this side and then i believe there's a few other and then we'll go on the outside as well but one thing about this is it could go 25 miles an hour with the mower on this is so unrealistic but i had to do it for the video that is that is crazy I can go 25 miles an hour. That's absolutely insane. So let's finish up this section around the logs here. There's no weed eater mod out yet. Um, what else? I was debating whether or not to have that big. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure the expendables mod. Well, expendables modding didn't make it, but I think it's the same converted trailer that we had the enclosed trailer of on last game. But I think it looks pretty good with the lights. Not gonna lie. Let's go around here. There we go. This doesn't turn too sharp, but it, obviously it's not a zero turn. It's, you know, a utility tractor. It doesn't turn too sharp, but it's not too bad. Decent. I would say decent cut width, not anything crazy. And sometimes I, okay, this is too crazy. I need to be careful on how much I, I should put my cruise control on at all times. There we go. Sometimes like the old mowers, they would actually cut more than like physically, like what it appears to be. Like obviously it might reach out and cut more on the old ones, so it's nice that this one's realistic. I should probably be doing first person too. Totally forgot about that. So let's do first person as we finish up this small section here. I feel like less turning is better if we actually do that like this. And it goes so fast too that you can do a lot of work with it. All right, so we cleaned up that. Let's just go around the tree to wrap it up. Do a quick 360 rounder. All right, let's see actually how tight can we turn. Decent, not bad at all. Oh, we're in the bushes. There we go. All right, where else? Let's turn off the mower. Yeah, it's nice when I'm actually like, I got to get somewhere. I can get there relatively quick. So I'm going to do a quick little time lapse of us finishing uh, the inside here. Or I might take a lap around the outside. One of the two. Hopefully you guys are enjoying so far. Hit the like button if you are. Subscribe. Let's get into this time lapse.
All right, guys, so we just finished up this. Uh, <laughs> I mean, this is a pretty big spot that we did here on the outside, on the corner. Pretty important that we got it nice and good, and I think it looks really, really nice. And so what we're going to do now is go on the ins, or I guess I think I got a little bit more work, a few passes to do over here for sure. Oh, yeah, this, this should be good. I'll make, like, oh, yeah, this is pretty nice. For some reason, it's... Okay, the fence is not perfectly aligned with the road. You think when they build a fence, they would make it parallel to the road, but it's a little jagged. I don't really, that doesn't really make sense, but I guess we'll just go with it. I mean, we're realistically, you would think, I mean, you guys in the comment section, I'm sure there's some people watching who have their own mowing business and stuff, but I had a buddy who had a mowing business and when he would do big properties like this or kind of big open fields around like uh, kind of a church, in it was a very large field most churches usually have a big if it's like not in town but if it's like somewhat out of town they usually have like a big area where you know people can go out hold events and stuff and so he was stuck with mowing that not stuck with it it was actually a pretty good gig but it was like i want to say it was like four four and a half five acres like a decent sized lot and i'm pretty sure each time he mowed it he got 650 dollars like that was pretty good i think he said it took him three and a half hours he had a he had a nice stand behind uh which was yeah which was pretty nice so i mean mowing this especially this is pretty big this is pretty big i feel like this would be around kind of ballpark like that so we're gonna continue mowing here and we'll finish her up all right guys so we ran into a problem we have about three-fourths of i would say like three-fourths of the lawn done or, or the job done and so we already did this i'm kind of driving around here but there's some weird going on for some reason i cannot mow anymore or at least well let's try it here so i'm gonna be to turn on the mower the mower is now on and it's mowing okay it's actually mowing now okay like this doesn't make sense but like two seconds ago i was messing around with it it wasn't working but i guess now it is i guess that was on a different part of the lawn but hopefully we can finish up this whole thing so this is a pretty good section it's not perfectly like rectangle i'm gonna go around the trees here do the outer outer uh outer parts we'll go around the trees always whenever you're mowing i know you guys should know this but you always the 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 shoot side always goes outside the tree or if you're going around a building make sure you are shooting grass i've seen that many times before we're so a little, a young kids mowing or just somebody who hasn't mowed before and they put the shoot right I, i've 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 done it myself too like the first time mowing i literally like shot a bunch of grass to my mom's car into the house all that stuff so always got to make sure that but like right here you can't really do anything about it because there's objects on our left and right so better to shoot into the tree i guess than the fence because i'm gonna have to go along this way with the other side i guess the non-shoot side should probably slow it down too i'm kind of put my cruise back down to like 11 that's an appropriate speed i would say so <clears throat> we're gonna finish up here get this section i don't know if i'm actually gonna have time i'll try and run over and do a small maybe residential that we have on the list for this week's of work um but we'll see kind of what we can knock out here we'll run up and down here it's actually i know it's kind of unrealistic when i go fast but it does speed up things and it, it's it's kind of fun honestly like I always complain how slow the mowers are in this game. Sometimes they go as low as like seven miles an hour. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I can't do anything. But now, when we have a straightaway, I just absolutely floor it. But you got to be careful in some spots. Let's go ahead and back up here. When we get a zero turn, boys, I'll be on it so quick. Oh my goodness, that'll be so exciting when we actually get a zero turn. I actually do like the 2032, though. Um, yeah, the 2032R, I think it's a 2020. Yeah, 2032, I was about to say. Okay, I've said it like a hundred times, but I thought maybe it was the 2023. 20, okay, so <clears throat> we'll keep going here around the trees. And then I think this is our last piece, our last section of the sawmill. And then we should be good to go. And I think we're going to charge them. I guess this is our first time ever doing it, but we'll go somewhere around. I think we'll charge them like 650 for it. You know, it's a pretty big lawn. There were a lot of, and I always charge obviously commercials more than residentials because they have the money and they don't want to like pay somebody to do it and all that so you can kind of gouge them a little more than residentials and i feel bad when i go over to grandma jenkins house and we, you go mow her lawn and then you gouge her you don't you just don't want to do that so and this is pretty tall grass not gonna lie this is this is a lot of grass this is a lot of grass so let's keep going here cruise control we'll go around 
there is a point where I got to now go around it the whole tree otherwise we'll just keep going around it forever and that's not gonna work there we go and back up keep going yeah see we need a weed eater for, to get right up and close with the trees but sometimes you just get as good as you can get it and then call her quits there we go drive around here oh okay we don't want to we don't want to rub the old bark there with our tires there we go and I think we'll start running up and down here once quite a bit of trees yeah trees are pretty annoying especially without a zero turn trees are actually like really really hard to do um I mean not hard but just tedious I would say it's not yeah it's not a hard thing so we'll do a little first person I've been meaning to do more first person in time lapse obviously I didn't do it so you could see exactly what we're doing and it kind of helps me mow but for here let's go first person we'll go ahead and back it up it's got our gauge on here too I don't think it's accurate yeah we're only going right here we're going here let's set the cruise 11 and it says that we're going 18 maybe it's in kilometers uh it would make sense that it would be i mean it wouldn't because it's john deere but <clears throat> the maker could have could have done that the mod creator so we'll keep running up and down here first person actually yeah there's no i was just realizing this like it sounds really quiet there's like absolutely no audio in the tractor that's kind of weird kind of eerie yeah, we can hear it though but i do like third person at least on this mower because we are doing such big sections and i want to make sure that i'm using the full width of our deck and i'm not really like you know doing something like this where i feel like i'm actually mowing it and i'm only doing like half so pretty important that i get the full full length all right we'll keep running up here and i'll see you guys when we are done all right so there we go guys we got the last little bit there let's go ahead and turn her off now i think we we're done let's go jump in er, not jump in but let's go drive the uh, the the deer in here we sh it actually like doesn't get dirty i've always noticed that the mowers don't get dirty i mean they're mods so maybe they could have messed them up there but I would, i'm just thinking about that because i'm like oh it's maybe it's time to power wash it now but it's actually not dirty so i'm just so used to that let's go ahead turn it off jump out there we go make sure it shuts both gates here there we are very nice let's go ahead we'll drive back to the shop and then that's gonna wrap up today's episode here let's go ahead zoom in let's hear a purr okay the f-450s this is one of the most nice one of the nicest interiors i've seen so far one of the most quality uh truck mods i've seen so if you guys are looking for a solid truck mod i would really recommend the f-450 it's uh it's pretty good i would say i it, no, it, it's it's a really good mod it looks really good and i like the different options for you know if you want a flatbed you're doing more of a work truck rather than you know like a play good looking truck it'll kind of suit your needs so there we go we're gonna go head back to the shop kind of where we picked up off at so hopefully you all did enjoy today's video what do you think of the john deere is it i mean obviously it's not it can be used for more things than just mowing i would love to get a zero turn in here stand behind walk behind anything like that would be awesome uh but for now that's kind of what we got to make do with it hope you guys did enjoy any comments questions concerns love to hear them in the comment section thank you all for watching have a great day and i'll see you all in the next one